X-Men 97, Season 1, Episode 2, Thoughts. This episode is called Mutant Liberation Begins. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. The show is rated TVPG, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So yeah, um, I really love the opening couple bits of Magneto saving regular human beings and you know yeah it's it's a pretty significant you know the the um, display it really does show that he is doing what he can to keep Charles dream alive and yeah um he helps the morlocks who yeah like literally they're already like, they're essentially unhoused, and the fascists still don't think that's enough. And, the, yeah, you know, there have been a number of laws passed, you know, not only targeting minority, you know, ethnic minorities and, you know, LGBTQ plus people, but, you know, yeah, the unhoused, sadly, a, a target for you know, these these incredibly hateful people, sadly some of whom are able to, to actually pass legislation. And I love that Magneto, you know, he's like using his, it was, uh, yeah, yeah, he's basically doing a, a reference to the end of the first movie, you know, using steel to, to tie people up against walls and such. And Leech, yet again, being this innocent, you know, and, and Magneto actually comforting him. And, yeah, love Magneto's entire, you know, him trying to win over the X-Men in the briefing room. And, you know, yeah, just silver tongue. And this, yeah, um, Gene pointing out, you know, I can only sense honesty in this exact moment. I can't say if it's every minute of every day. And and Scott, you know, so certain that Magneto is, you know, going to turn, which, fair enough, you know, we've seen the show leading up to, you know, the original 90s show. And, you know, yeah, he straight up says, you know, nope, full, like, minority report, precog, we're gonna you know, check every minute of every day. I kind of love how casual Jean is when she, you know, she holds up the Marvel Girl costume and she's like, remember when we were on the blue side of the moon and, you know, I was possessed by a, you know, cosmic entity intent on devouring all? And Scott was there and it was not, you know, this is, <laughs> yeah. I love comic books so much. And, yeah, I quite like Magneto and Rogue discussing the past. And I really, really appreciate that Magneto actually does allow himself to be arrested and agrees to the trial. You know, and this, I honestly wasn't sure that was how that was going to go. You know, and this thing of, you know, they've got their rifles trained on him, and they're like, you know, you should have thought twice, and then he uses the metal in the helicopters to show, no, I have control in this situation, not you. And, and yeah, you know, literally, as soon as he's confident that the trial will be fair, and that this is what he needs to do to prove that he is trustworthy, he agrees without hesitation. He doesn't make demands. He just says, you have to treat me fairly. And that is what, you know, the vast, vast majority of members of minorities, whether we're talking ethnic or LGBTQ+, you know, yeah, that literally just want to be treated fairly. And, yeah, I love how every so often it, it goes to the, the, ah, crap, I forgot his name, but, you know, the guy, the, the masked man, he's the man behind the mask, 
you know, and, and yeah, early on we see him building his weapon and we see him arrive. And I gotta say, even before the Friends of Humanity were literally assaulting cops just doing their jobs, I got a real Jan 4th vibe from them breaking into this government building where, like, nothing wrong is happening in there, you know. With the obvious difference that they were trying to kill their own for, you know, not trying to do something that there's literally no... You know, Mike Pence did not refuse to do something that was legal to help Trump. He just said, "There's literally, this isn't even... There's no law here. There's nothing for me to, to actually do. I'd be, you know, yeah, create, you know, it would be a major step towards a dictatorship to just throw out votes. And let's see. Yeah, I, it's really, I, I quite enjoyed when, like, yeah, the masked man is, is attacking and, we get some very fan y cameos attacking and yeah gene the doctors refuse and this is something that has actually happened to african americans you know especially in southern states even after the the you know slavery ended you would have white doctors refusing to operate on people of color and let's see. Yeah, Magneto, you know, makes the. I I did honestly. I was a little concerned that he was going to like do something lethal, but no, he just makes these. You know, he yeah, he makes a cell. You know, describing. You know, you what was it? You act like animals. Animals get caged. You know. And, yeah, I love the clarity of, like, you can always tell when Magneto is using his powers and what he's using them for. Though it does really remind me of, like, you know, the, the way that the, 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 the bright outline around the stuff he's manipulating, you know, same for Gene's powers, really makes me think of, like, when you're playing an RTS and you, you know, you choose a certain building or unit or the like. And, yeah... Storm, at this point, so trusts Magneto that she jumps in and, and takes the, the fire. And the fact that the rifle doesn't kill, but it takes away your powers, really does speak volumes. And, you know, that is the thing that, you know, fascist, a number of fascists do outright want to exterminate the, you know, the minorities that they hate and a number of them are very honest about it but some it is legitimately it is the thing that makes them different that they want to remove you know you saw Mengele actually try you know he he tried to make other eye colors blue you know that's yeah that's trying to remove the thing that makes the minorities different and, and yeah, Magneto pointing out, you know, this is what you want for, for all of mutants, cowering, powerless, afraid. And, you know, when Magneto took the, the uh, judges, the panel, and also the, the masked man, yeah, I did honestly think he's going to, you know, he's going to take them really high up and then let them fall. And I do love the line, don't, don't make me let you down, you know. Very poor choice of words. And let's see. Yeah, um, <laughs> I like Magneto think, you know, poison, dark roast. And... Jean does give birth, and the baby is named Nathan, which, yeah, um, Nathan Summers 
I just want to make absolutely certain that I'm thinking of the yes. Um, I'm not going to give away exactly what the, but I'll just say that kid has quite the future ahead of him. And let's see, yeah. And Beast says, you know, it appears. Oh, right, yeah. He goes by Executioner because X Gene, and he nullifies that. And and yeah, Beast, you know, takes a little bit of cajoling, but eventually, you know, they get out of him. It appears to be permanent. You know, Storm really should have seen it coming. She was practically talking about being two weeks away from retirement. You know, she's like. I'm so glad I'm a mutant, you know, I, I belong to the X-Men family and all this stuff, like, just, yeah, right, and that was also a thing, you know, but, but yeah, very strong tragedy there, and that is, you know, there are a number of minority individuals who were made miserable by, yeah, having to, to live in a way that is not true to their identity. We see this in, for example, conversion therapy. Which, you know, they're, yeah, it's literally torture. And, let's see, right, I like that when Morph is trying to cheer up Wolverine, you know, first they're like, I got beer, I got snacks, and, you know, Wolverine's not receptive, so instead they trans, you know, they, they yeah, transform into to Sabretooth, and the, you know, the subtitles point out, it's a playful growl, so it's like, yeah, you know, if, if Wolverine isn't in the mood for, for beer and snacks, he's in the mood to fight. Those are, those are his two modes. And, yeah, legitimately tragic, Aurora leaves the team. You know, I guess she read all of the, you know, she took in all the, the hate online, people freaking out about it slight costume change, which I think makes her look quite cool. Not that she didn't already. And, you know, the the Mohawk, which, like, read your comics, that's a that's in there. Like if you're talking about, oh, you know, it's no longer an accurate adaptation of the comic. Let's see. And um right, I also appreciate it earlier in the episode when Gene was talking about, you know, maybe it would be best if the kid was born without mutant powers. And this, again, is something that some minority members do feel themselves thinking, you know, wanting to protect their their offspring. And the episode ends with Jean walking in and, and saying, I need your help, whilst Jean is, is also in the, you know, elsewhere in the room as well. I have theories like you know yeah I mean, I mean basically I'm thinking shapeshifter maybe like a clone because there is precedent for that in comics yeah I'm it's it's an excellent cliffhanger I'm really really stoked to, to find out it's gonna be difficult to wait an entire week to find out exactly what is is going on there uh, let's see. I think that it, right. I like when when Wolverine was saying, you know, uh, how about I give you a C section? And and yeah, you know, ultimately it's Rogue who who settle, you know, yeah, absorbs the the medical knowledge, and you know, and this thing of you know she's worried about accidentally you know touching the baby, which you know. A lot of new parents are all about, please hold the baby. And she's like, I, can you just not? And and Jean is like, I trust you. And, yeah. Uh, right, it was also very clever. You know, Beast points out what's in the Executioner's rifle is the same thing that's in the, the collars that the mutants are, are forced to wear that, you know, take away powers and it really is like because there's again there's comic president the it's also in the you know the movie that we like to pretend didn't happen uh, you know in the last stand storm is like militantly against anyone any mutant giving up their powers you know it's 
And it's not like there's no one on the show that wouldn't welcome it. You know, Beast has expressed on a number of occasions that, you know, yeah, he would very much, he would at least strongly consider it if, if given the chance. Right, I like Bishop pointing out, you know, in all the futures I've seen, I really don't, none of them had Magneto as a, as a good guy. I like how he keeps saying, he keeps referring to them as my X-Men, which, like, I feel like he's trolling at least a little bit, but it is also what Charles would say, so. Uh, yeah, absolutely love this episode. Uh, it's it's very impressive, the, the level of quality that they're at with both of these episodes. I hope they can keep it up, and yeah, catch you again in a week.